Hi, Charlie. Hi, Adita. Hi, me, Jessica. How are you? Hi, thank you. ¿Cómo si yo? ¿Ya está mejorcita? Sí, ya mejor, mis. Me siento mucho mejor. Ah, bueno. Sí, me dieron incapacidad, le conté, vea. Eh, sí, sí. Me dieron tres días, así es que voy hasta después de vacation. ¡Ah! ¡Wow, Adita! Le salió genial. <risa> Correcto, súper genial. Pero sí necesitaba el descanso, mis días. Sí, claro. Sí, lo necesitaba. Sí, sí ¿verdad? Sí, ya me siento mucho mejor. El descanso me ha ayudado. Sí, claro, siempre ayuda. Así que en la sí. vacación descanse más, Adita, oye. Muchas gracias. Hi, Laurita. Hi. How are you? So, so. Ok. All right. Ya casi, ya casi salen a vaca. Sí. Yeah. Ya nos vamos de vaca. Ya casi, no time. Sí. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jazz. Hi. ¿Cómo están? Con mucho sueño. ¿Sí? Ay, ay, ay. <risa> Pero eso tiene un nombre. Eso tiene un nombre. Good evening. Hello. Ah, mi Hi, Mari. Hello, Hi, Jenny. Va en camino. Ajá, uh -huh, Mari, how are you? Hi. Ya. Yeah. ¿Se le desactivó el micrófono, Mari? I'm fine. Okay. But I'm a little bit of tire. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Aquí haciendo la cena de mi hija. Ajá. Okay. Baby. Very good, guys. Charlie, ¿qué tal su día? ¿Todo bien? Yes. Very fine. Very tired, but uh, the best part is falta poco para que termine. Entonces. <laughs> true, very yeah. true. Así okay. que, así que todo bien. Está bien, está bien. Solo déjeme que estoy algo. Hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Very good, guys. Just give me one second. I'm just trying to find something here so we can work on that. Yesterday we did. Okay, yeah, I got it. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. I was just trying to fix everything here. Adita's here. Christian, hello. Uh, Chiki, Jazz. All right, Maribel, Laurita, and Charlie, welcome to class. One more class, and we are off. Like, on holidays, all right? So that's very nice. We're gonna, <laughs> I know, Mari. Thank you, Mari. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I need the vacation too, Mari, believe me. All right, yeah, all right, very good. Okay, guys, so yesterday, we were talking about have to and need to, all right? Now, uh, we're gonna do the review right now, and then I'm gonna take attendance like in about like five minutes or so, all right? now. Charlie, yesterday we were studying have to and need to, all right? Which one, Charlie, expresses obligation, Charlie? Which one expresses obligation? obligation? Excuse me? Obligation. Obligation? Yes. Uh, have to? Excellent, all right, yes, have to expresses an obligation. Now, Laurita, what about need to? What? Thank you, Charlie. What does need to express? What does it? When no. do we use need to, Laura? Uh, 
Oh my god. Wait a moment, please. Okay. <laughs> I need you need to um I use need to for I don't say what's the best that's como redundante, bro. Para algo que necesitamos hacer. Yeah. Yeah, you use need to when you need to do something. Uh -huh. It's necessary, chica, Laura, para que no sea tan re, like, redundante, right? Ah, so okay. We use need to when something is necessary, all right? And then we need to do something, okay? Now, Chiki, yesterday we were talking about have to, need to in affirmative, but we were also, Chiki, eh, we were also talking about when it's not an obligation, and when it's not a necessity, how do we express that, Chiki? With don't and does, does, don't and doesn't. Right, don't and doesn't, very good. So you say, um, let's say that it's not your obligation to go to work next week. How can you say that, Chiki? I don't have to go at to work next week. Excellent, I don't have to go to work next week, right? So you say don't. Now, if we're talking about Jenny, for example, we can say Jenny doesn't have to take the bus or take a cab tomorrow night, okay? So she doesn't have to because it's negative, all right? And we're using third person singular, third person. all right? Very yes. good. So yes. remember when, thank you, Chiki, remember when we um, use like, negative all right we have to use don't or doesn't depending on who we're talking about okay now let's see jasmine if i say um doesn't for need to or have to um jasmine does the verb um uh, change or it doesn't it doesn't change yeah no it does idea. yes it doesn't change right so i say for example um i don't know charlie needs to fix um uh, a water pipe all right or charlie doesn't have to fix a water pipe all right for example all right so we say doesn't and then we go back to have to or need to to the base form all right yes very good and then yesterday guys you were telling me about things that you have to do things that you don't have to do things that you need to do and things that you don't need to do all right so that's what we studied yesterday vamos a seguir ahora de hecho con el have to el need to and we're going to have like some other exercises but before we do that, do we have any questions related to that, guys? Do you have any questions like when uh, we use need to or doesn't need to or don't need to? I don't know if anybody has a question. Charlie, do you have a question about that or you are okay with the topic? You okay? Yes, Reese. Okay, very good. All right. Mari, I don't know if you have any questions or if you are okay with everything. Is everything okay? Everything is okay. All right, very good. Okay, so um, let's think about, yesterday we were talking about things that you need to do and have to do, um, perhaps at your work. Now, tell me right now, quickly, tell me something that you have to do that you have to do and that you need to do tomorrow in your house. Don't think about the work, think about your house. All right, Chiki, what do you have to do tomorrow for like in your house or for your family, for example? I have to clean my entire house. <laughs> oh my goodness, Chiki. <laughs> All right. Very good. Is it a vacation goals? <laughs> I know, I know. We usually do on vacation things that we don't normally do during the week. All right. Yeah. Working days. Very good. Okay. Now, what about Laura? What is something that you have to do at home? Um, clean 
the house. <laughs> you have to? You oh no, you too. <laughs> no, come on, girls. Oh, the house. <laughs> oh no. All right, very good. What about Charlie? Something that you have to do in your house. Uh, I have to do. I have to help my wife in a play at a right. Okay, you have to help her. Yeah, yes. all right. That's very good. That's a very good husband. <laughs> all right, very good. Chris, is there something that you have to do tomorrow related to your house? Related to my house I or your family? Mm -hmm. No, everything is okay here. All right, so you don't really have to do anything. That's pretty cool. All right, very nice. Okay, let's see. What about Mari? Mari, what is something that you have to do in your house tomorrow? Mari, Mari. I have to to do. Oh, when, come, how do you say hornear? Ah, you have to bake. Bake. <gasps> what are you baking, Mari? I promised my your daughter. My, my daughter, okay. yes. And uh, what are you baking? Cookies or a cake? Uh, cupcakes. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Now you have to share with your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That is an obligation, Mari, all right? Very good. No, I'm just kidding. Very good. Hi, Roxana. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hi, how are you? All right. Very good. Okay. Hi, Frank, also. Very good, guys. Okay. So I don't think we have any problems using have to, I need to, don't have to, and don't need to. I think it's pretty sta it's, um, straightforward. All right. Solo recuerde que cuando yo le pregunte, por ejemplo, yo le voy a decir, Charlie, do you have to go to school next week? Charlie, la forma de contestar, ¿cuál sería Charlie? Recordemos esa forma de contestar. A ver. Do you have to, like, do you have to um, work on the school next week? Charlie? I don't. It, uh -huh. I don't. Okay, you say no, I, I don't. don't. Okay. And what is the other possibility, Charlie? No, I don't. Okay. Repeat. There are like there are like more ways to answer that question, right? I can say, do you have to work uh, next week? And you say, no, I don't. All right, that's the very short answer. What about the medium-sized answer, Charlie? No. I don't, I, I don't not, I don't not uh, go to work. I don't have to go to work. No, I don't have to. I don't have to. Claro, y esa es la larga, all right? Pero hay una como en medio. ¿Te acuerdas cuál era, Charlie? No, I don't remember. Ah, you don't remember? A ver, um, Ede le va a recordar. A ver, Ede, ¿cuál sería la otra posibilidad de contestar? Ya dijimos, mm. no, I don't. No, I don't have to go to work tomorrow, for example. What would be the other one? No, I don't have to. Excellent, Ed, Ede, very good. No, I don't have to. ¿Verdad? Que no es ni corta ni larga. All right. Ahora, cuando yo digo, no, I don't have to, is it okay, Frank? Si solo digo, no, I don't have. Está bien si solo contesto así. No, porque le falta el tú. Excellent, Francisco Renderos. Very, good. very nice, Frank. Okay, so you say, no, I don't have to. All right, you always have to have the two. All right, because we're using the two in the question. Otherwise, el sentido se pierde. Okay? Lo mismo sucede cuando usted dice, need to. All right, uh, do you need to study more? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I need to, or yes, I need to study more. Okay, so we have those three choices. Ya sea en afirmativo y negativo, podemos jugar con esas tres, pero la de en medio, digamos, que es la que está, ni es, la, la, que ni es ni corta ni larga, tiene que llevar el to, ya sea con have to, 
has to, need to, or don't need to, doesn't need to, or doesn't have to. All right, tenemos que agregar ese to en algún lado. All right, va exactamente después del need, or del have, or del don't need to, or don't have to, doesn't need to, doesn't have to. Tiene que llevar ese to ahí, ¿ok? Porque si no, no lo estamos diciendo de forma completa y estamos contestando de otra forma que cambia todo el contexto. All right, guys? Yes, very good. Okay, I'm going to take attendance, all right? And then we're going to go on with some exercises here. Let's see, Ada, Carolina, Campos, Viuda de Ruano. Adita. Present. Okay. Right. Thank you, Adita. Okay, Michelle, no se preocupe. Adilio Hernández Polanco. No, Adilio is not here. Okay, Arely del Carmen Cortes de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Here me is. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Oh, um, Ercilia Damari Quintero Salvarado. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Eh, Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Thank you. Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jenny. Katherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Uh, Laura Noemi Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present, Miss. Yasmín Yamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Thank you. And Be uh, Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Vielman. All right, hopefully the rest of your classmates will join us a little later. All right, guys, you know what? We're going to work on this right now. I'm going to share this with you again. All right, and this is what we were like using yesterday. We were using the need to, all right? Um, we, we went through the examples here. All right, okay. now, let's do this right now. I'm not going to send you to any group right now. Do it right now on your book or on your notebook. And you have to use need to, don't need to, needs to, or doesn't need to. Ok, véalo ahí y vaya escribiendo la respuesta. Me avisan cuando vayan terminando, so we can check. Teacher, you say need to. Ah, uh, yes, right now everything is with need to. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
Let me know when you're finished, guys, all right? I'm ready. Perfect, Chiki, very good. What about the rest of you guys? Are you finished too? Frank, finished? Mm -hmm. Mari, finished? Yes? All right, let's mm -hmm. see then. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, let's see. Laura, can you please do number one, please? Okay. They don't need to drive so fast. They, yeah, very good. They don't need to drive so fast. All right, very good. Chiki, can you do number two? You need to wait for me. That's right. You need to wait for me. Very good. Roxana, number two. I mean, sorry, number three. She doesn't have to take a taxi. She doesn't have to or she doesn't has to? Has to. Segura, Roxana? Jebel doesn't? Yes. Ah, no, no, no cambia. <laughs> okay, si no cambia, ¿verdad? No Very cambia. good, Roxana. Okay, entonces no quedaría. <laughs> she doesn't have doesn't to. All right. To. That's right. She doesn't have to take a taxi. Very nice. Uh, let me see here. Ede, can you do her children, number four? Her children. And don't need to. Mm -hmm. Go to school today. Very good. Thank you. Charlie, can you do we, number five? Your microphone, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we have to understand the class before the, the test. We have to or we need to? Have to. Okay, you can use it. Acuerde, en este caso estamos usando el need to, all right? Pero, okay. eh, ah, yeah, igual Roxana creo que usó have to. No, no importa, that's okay. Si se fijan, podemos usar have to y need to. Y está bien, lo que pasa que va a depender del contexto o su intención. Si usted dice, you have to, or you need to. All right, media vez usted lo use correctamente, pero es la intención que usted quiere uh, dar. All right, si es obligación, vamos a usar have to. Si es necesidad o necessary, entonces vamos a usar need to. All right, very good. Let's see here. Jazz, can you please do you? Usando need to ahorita. You, do, you don't need to come if you don't want to. Right, you don't need to come if you don't want to. All right, very nice. 
Uh, let me see here. What about um, Mari? Can you do the last one? My father. Hola, oh, sí. yes. Okay, my father doesn't uh -huh. need to help me. That's right, my father doesn't need to help me. All right, very good, you can say that. Hi, Damari. Hi, Miss. Hi, how are you? Ya I'm sorry. Usted, señorita, no se preocupe. Thank you, Damari. Very yes, good. <laughs> All right, thank you, Damari. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so remember that in this case, you were supposed to use uh, need to or doesn't need to or needs to or don't need to. All right, so let's go on with this here. Do you have any questions related to this? Any questions or are we okay? All right, very good. Okay. okay, thank you. Let's continue here then. Uh, let me see. ¿Por qué es importante ponerle el to? Porque si usted no se lo pone, está diciendo totalmente otra cosa. Usted dice, I have a meeting, que sería un noun. I have a baby, I have a car. But if you say, I have to meet with my boss, entonces ya esto... All right, se vuelve una expresión modal donde usted ya está diciendo otra cosa. Es tengo que, no solo dice tengo un lápiz, dice tengo que reunirme con mi jefe. All right. I have to drive my car. Tengo que manejar mi carro porque, I don't know, nobody else can. All right. Entonces decimos I have to. Si se fija acá, después del tú necesitamos un verbo, meet and drive. Acá no, aquí tenemos un noun. All right, so that's different. It's a very different story. Entonces, por eso mismo, cuando contestamos, yo le digo, do you have to go? Y me dice, yes, I have to. All right, tengo que. All right, or yes, I do, or yes, I have to go now. All right, so those are the type of questions that we use. All right, let's see, guys. Vamos a hacer, eh, quiero ver. Yeah, let's do this practice right now. Can you please take a picture? Take a picture of this. All right. Ready? And take a picture of this, please. All right, so here what we have is a student A and student B. Igual los voy a mandar a grupos de dos nada más. Entonces, a student A, si Roxanita es ex student A y Frank está trabajando con Frank, decidan quién va a ser A y quién va a ser B. Eh, Roxana, usted le va a hacer estas preguntas a Frank. All right, what do you have to do after class? Y Frank le va a contestar lo que él tenga que hacer. Usted termina como ustedes quieran. Si, eh, a student A hace todas las preguntas primero y el compañero le contesta y luego es el student B o se van alternando. Una pregunta usted, una pregunta yo. Entonces, Frank, en este caso, si se van alternando, Frank le hace la otra pregunta. Do you always have to clean the house? All right. Now, lo que es importante acá es cuando estén en sus grupos y estén contestando, no necesitan escribir nada. All right, quiero que no escriban nada ahorita, pero sí es importante, si estoy trabajando con Mari, por ejemplo, y la pregunta era, do you always have to clean your house? Y si ella me dice, yes, I have, entonces vengo y yo le digo, ah, Mari, yes, I have to, ¿ok? Es como ayudarnos ahí, no solo deje que se equivocó, ¿verdad? Y ahí, ah, whatever, no, 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 es like, no, we have to help each other. Entonces ahí sería, Mari, ¿verdad que creo que es, yes, I have to? Ah, sí, es cierto. Entonces, la idea es to help each other aquí, all right? Entonces, si, su, si usted nota que su compañero o compañera de repente le faltó algo, ayúdele para que eh, descubra el error, ¿verdad? Ya lo puedan corregir y sigan eh, en ese proceso, ¿ok? Very good, guys. Let's go. Uh, Jenny, no sé si va a poder participar. Quizás ahorita no, ¿verdad, Jenny? Solo me hágame la cabecita así o así. Eh, solo... 
dentro de cinco minutos, ni porque me voy a salir ahorita de, de, la, de la clase y vuelvo a ingresar. Ok, entonces eh, lo que voy a hacer es que con quien esté con usted, lo, lo voy a mover y cuando usted vuelva a ingresar, la pongo a usted a otro grupo. Oye, Jenny. Ok, Thank ok, you. ok, perfecto. Just give me a second, guys. Here. Oops. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's see, guys. Right now, todos están en pareja. Cuando entre Jenny, yo la mando a cualquier otro grupo para que se integre. Let's go. Diana and Michelle. Yo no puedo entrar. No sé por qué. Ah, ahorita. No le salió la invitación, Diana. Me salió, pero eh, no alcancé a activarla y entonces ahorita ya no sé cómo entrar. <risa> Vaya, la voy a mover dos veces, Diana. En la segunda se va a hacer su grupo, oye. Bueno. ¿Ok? Ok.
of friends. Ah, ya terminó. No. <risa> no, todavía no, Frank. Ah, ah. Ok. <risa> ah, entonces voy otra vez. Ajá. What do people have to do to have a lot, lot of friends? Eh, what do you people have to have a lot, lot of my friends? Quiero ver. I have to lot. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, lot. Eh, ¿Qué significa lot? Muchos. Es como que le estoy preguntando. Ah. What do people have to do? No, no. Está, le está preguntando. What do people have to do? ¿Qué necesita hacer las personas? Para que sean tus amigas. To do? Para tener muchos to amigos. Para tener muchos para amigos. Para tener muchos amigos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Tienen que ser las personas. Um, I have to do... Uh, lot my friend is um, se puede usar el is sí verdad lo puede no, usar pero que... sin eh, a Roxana lo puede usar pero acuérdese ah. como como va sin conjugar tiene que decir por ejemplo tiene que ser I have to be o tengo que ser amigable por decir algo I have to uh -huh. be friendly entonces en ese uh -huh. caso como es sin conjugación entonces no digo ni am, ni is, ni are, sino que digo be. I have to be, debo ser, o tengo que ser amigable, paciente, no sé, tolerante, por decirle algo. Uh -huh. Ok, <risa> ese vocabulario tengo que aprender mucho. Sí, eh, no, pero um, tranquila, porque es ya tener... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have to... Eh, um, eh, happy. I have to eh, be happy. I have to be happy. happy. Mm -hmm. I have to be happy. Um, mm, quiero ver. Amigable. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Friendly. Friendly, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Um, oh. eh, can be people or can be... Everybody have to. Uh, everybody have to polite or. ¿Cómo me dijo la otra? Have to Hi, be. Have to ah uh, have to be hey. polite. Yes. Have to be polite. Esta pregunta tan algo algo. Algo rompe coco. ¿Qué, la <laughs> ¿Qué pasó la <laughs> No, que, Chiqui y Laurita, cuando decimos everybody, siempre va a ser singular porque encierra un grupo de personas. Entonces decimos okay. everybody has to be. Ah, ok. Has. Uh, has. Okay. Okay. ok. Not have. No. Has. Mm -hmm. Singular. Has. Because we can change for they. No, for... If you change it for they, then it would be they have to be, ¿verdad? Pero como uh -huh. everybody, es como, véalo como un conjunto, como money. Es como un conjunto. Okay. Entonces adentro puede haber mil personas, ¿verdad? Pero como decimos yes. everybody, entonces decimos has to. ¿Mm? Ok. Vuelve singular. Uh, pero se puede de las dos formas, perdón. ¿De cuál? Ahorita, ¿de cuál otra forma? Sí. They have to be kind, por ejemplo. De, sí, sí. Si lo va Or a everybody el... has to. Solo okay. vamos a cambiar el, el, el has si por de, el has. Si, de, si decimos people, decimos have or has. People has to. People have to. People has to. People has to. Has. Yeah. Ok. Es que aquí me confundí porque como dice, what do people have? Ya, yeah, all right, ya, yeah. pero el people podemos usarlo con el people have to do it or people has to do it. El people se presta muchas veces para ambos, all right, pero es que, ya, pero it, everybody, yeah, everybody okay. just for just has. That's right. Okay. Ah, okay. 
Okay, Miss. Okay, la number Next one. Number eight. Do you sometimes have to do things? No, it's number six, Miss. Number six. No, do you have to pay attention in class? Of course. Yes, <laughs> <It's number six. laughs> yes of course. <laughs> Always, I always pay attention in class. <laughs> okay, I okay. try to do. I try to do. Yeah, too. you do, Tiki. Right. I know you do. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let. Uh huh. Yes, I tell a teacher. No, no. I can't. No, eh? Hi, teacher. Hello, Eden. <laughs> Por acá tenemos una inquietud en una de las preguntas. A ver, cuénteme cuál es su inquietud. ¿Estará correcta en el student B? Ajá. Eh, what do people have to do to have a lot of friends? Ajá. O hay algo de, o hay algo de más ahí. What do, what do people have to do to have a lot of friends? Ajá. No, está perfecta. Como que es trabalengua la cosa, pero... Sí, es digo, what do people have to do to have... La, ¿Y cuál sería <risa> pero es que sabe... la traducción Ajá. correcta de esa? Eh, ¿Qué tienen que hacer las personas para tener muchos amigos? Ah, ok, no andábamos tan perdidos. No andábamos perdidos. Ah. Yes. Ajá. Entonces decimos, what do people have to... Es el have to que estamos viendo. To have... Ajá. ¿Verdad? What do people have to do to have? Ese, ese otro to have ya no es el mismo have to, ¿verdad? Correcto. Oiga, ¿cómo vamos a, cómo vamos a jazz? <ríe> ya lo vi. Ya, ya, ya se dio cuenta que no están trabajando, sino que contándose chistes, ¿va? Ah, dígale que... Sí, señor. Ya la voy a regañar. No, mentira. <ríe> oiga, oiga. Aquí la oigo. <ríe> What do people have to do? Ajá. To be happy. Oigan, oigan. Ajá, vamos a ver, vamos a copiar. ¿Qué? Vamos a copiar, ya, ya las hicimos. Todas. <risa> ya, ya están bien. todas. Las de sí, la A y la B. Sí. Sí, ya. Wow, you guys are flash. <risa> <risa> Mari, and your glasses, Mari? I lost one more time. <risa> no sé oh. dónde lo no, mira, no Siempre los pierdo cuando vengo de mi trabajo. No sé dónde los dejo. Creo que los dejo donde mi mamá o en el carro. No sé dónde los dejé. No los hay. Estoy así. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> Mr. Magu. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. How do you say? Compartir in English? Share. Share. Uh -huh. Es que ahí le estoy dando copia al otro equipo. Ah, no, me eso no sé. No, mentira. <risa> ¿Y cómo, cómo <risa> colgar? Colgar. Ajá. ¿Colgar el qué? Eh, ¿Ropa? ¿Hang? Ah. <risa> bueno, es el teléfono ah, pues, cuelgue. Sorry. Okay. El teléfono también sería igual, hang up. Oh. Okay. okay. Teacher, and, and your vacation uh, is all week. My vacation. Yes. For, for everybody. Yes, I have to. Yeah, your vacation begins uh, the next uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Eh? Tomorrow. Or... Okay. Ah, okay. okay. What But, tomorrow uh, after class. I think. Uh -huh. Good I think uh -huh. that uh, we have a uh, one day more than you because uh -huh. we uh, start. Um, Start the work um, uh, on Martes, algunas cosas. Alguna, something. Uh -huh. Sí, algunas cosas. Uh -huh. eh, Martes, 
se me ha ido el nombre de Marta es en inglés. Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. We start Thursday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Eh, no. Eh, me preguntamos cuándo vamos a regresar a clase. No, no, este, nosotros le digo que nosotros iniciamos martes nuevamente las labores. En el Tenemos cole. Un día más, creería yo. Sí. Ah. Qué chivo, ¿no? Aquí no vamos a regresar el lunes. No. <risa> Empezamos nueve. No. Sorry, Mari. <risa> I need vacation. You will have vacation. <laughs> Ese día voy a regresar. ¿Qué día? El lunes. Ese día le toca a usted, Mari. Really? Creo yo. Ok. That's fine. Teacher, I finished the, the, the middle exam. Ah, yeah, Edith, you're a very good student, Edith. Thank you. Fine. Yo no lo hice, teacher. Because my computer. I, I, I. ¿Cómo se dice? I tell them. No, I tell. My accident yesterday. Yes, yes, and it broke. Thank God, thank God, no. Okay, okay. No. But uh, the finish, the, the end of class, uh -huh. I closed my computer and, uh, and, okay. Okay. and don't touch nothing. Oh my goodness, Mary. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mary. My work. Yeah. Yes. Sí, gracias a Dios no le pasó nada. Ah, ok. That's good. That's good. All right, guys. We're going to go back. Ya habrán terminado las niñas, Ede. Eh, I think that yes, because uh, Jasmine today, to, uh, now, sorry, now, uh, go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, very good. Ok, let's go back then, ok? Okay. okay. Thank you. Se le puso de lado lo que hice. Mari. Charlie, Charlie, who's pajarito? <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Were you able to finish all the questions? Yes? Uh, so, so? No, me. No. Uh, we, we have luck. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's okay. We can just like finish up here practicing that right now. So I'm just going to open up the... um the sheet so we can see it. Just give me a second. All right, so here we have these questions. Okay, let's see. The Mari, what do you have? Mire que son 20, así que nos alcanza para todos y nos sobra todavía, no tan vuelto. The Mari, what do you have to do after class? I have to, I have to rest. <laughs> yes, that's very important to the Mari. Very nice. All right, Charlie, number two, Charlie. What do you have to do in the morning? In my home or in my work? Doesn't matter. You choose. Anything. Okay. Este, I have to take a shower. Ah, that's very important. Very <laughs> Charlie. important. Very, very important. good. Thank you. All right, Jasmine, what do you have to do at night? Uh, then I have to take a shower. <laughs> oh, really? 
<laughs> yes. At night. Okay, very good. Nice, interesting. Very good. Michelle, why do you have to study English, Michelle? Um, vamos a ver. Uh, es la número tres, ¿verdad? No, la número cuatro. Number four, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I have to learn uh -huh. their language. Uh -huh. Why? Why do you have to learn a language? Why do you have to learn English? Eh, English. Uh -huh. Why? Pero por qué? Por qué tiene que aprender inglés, Michelle? Mm, no sé cómo se dice para aprender dos idiomas. Ah, um, you, why do you have to study English? I have to study English to know two languages. Or okay. Lingual or to, I don't know, to speak two languages. Okay, very good, Michelle. Thank you. Let's see. And yes. do you have to eat? <laughs> Do you have to eat every day, Ede? Yes, it's very important. <laughs> it's very Yes, important. I have to. Yes, of course. Very good. Mari. Ah, Mari. Do you have to pay attention in class, Mari? <laughs> yes, I have to pay attention. To learn more. <laughs> Excellent. Very good answer, Mari. All right. Very good. Um, Chris, where do you have to go after class? Oh, well, I had to rest. <laughs> okay. So you have to go to bed. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Adita. Adita está por ahí, Adita. No la veo. Adita. A ver, Charlie. No, Charlie, ya. ¿Qué pasó, Charlie? Tell me. Eh, no, solo decirle que mi hijadita está teniendo problemas con la conexión. A veces se me quedaba así quieta. Y de pronto cuando, cuando, hay que, yes, y cuando se detenía, salían todas las palabras de ella así de un solo, ¿sabes? No sé, no tuvimos <risa> ese problema. Ok, ok, that's ok. All right, Chiqui. Um, do you sometimes have to do things you don't like to do, Chiqui? Yes, all the time. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, Chiqui. Uh, is it okay if you can give us yeah. <laughs> Qué respuesta más sincera. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to. Yeah. Do like, things that I like I don't like to do. Can you give like, us an example? Uh -huh. Yeah, like do do the dishes or huh? I don't know what else. Uh, cook. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, Chiqui. But I, but I have but I have to. That's right. Do. Yes, of course. Very good. Thank you. Roxana, what are some things that you have to do to make your English better, Roxana? Um huh? Um, I have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Bear. You uh, have to. Yes, bear. <laughs> you ah. have. Uh -huh. Ah, para mejorarlo, para mejorar su inglés. Ah. Mm -hmm. I have to. Much pra. <laughs> Ah, Most practice. <laughs> yes, you have to practice very much. Yes, Roxana. Very good. Very much. <laughs> okay, very good, Roxy. Thank you. Let's see here. Uh Laura. Laura, do you have to work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, very good. Thank you. Jenny, do you always have to clean the house? Yes, I have to. All right, very good. Okay, Maria Jose, what do you have to buy at the supermarket, Maria Jose? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to buy the meat, the 
eh, milk. Yes. And, and other foods. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Diana, what do you have to do in class? I have to uh, study. You have to study? Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see. Frank, um, why do people have to go to work? Um, the people have to work because everybody needs money. <laughs> right, very good, of course. Yeah, very good. Let me see here. ¿Qué me falta de que les pregunte? ¿Quién a quién no le he preguntado? María le pregunté a Mari. Yes. Jenny falta. Jenny, no, ya le pregunté yes, a Jenny, teacher. creo. Jenny, ya le pregunté. ¿Damari? ¿Ya le pregunté a Damari? Yes. Ah, no importa, Damari. Yes, me. <laughs> Damari, what do people have to do to have lots of friends? Lots. Se me ha olvidado lots. Many. Ah, okay. Many friends. Mm -hmm. uh, the people have to to do. Um, no sé cómo decir ese verbo. Ajá. The people have to to happy with 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 her friends okay they have to be happy with their friends all right very good all right very good let's see here um adita es que adita no estaba pero ya regresó ajá adita adita number six adita what do people have to do to be happy Number six, Adita. Su micrófono, Adita. I have the people. Estoy bien. I have the people. La número 6, Adita, lo que pasa es que eh, su audio le falló en un momento. No sé si lo puede, puede repetir la número 6. What do people have to do to be happy? Have to... Mm, I don't know, me, Jesse. Sorry. Ok, no, that's ok. Mari quiere contestar esa, vez. Eh? Ah, no, a Mari le voy a dejar las 7. Olvídelo, Mari. A ver, um... <risa> Jenny, what do people have to do to be happy, Jenny? Um, that people have to I don't know, but <laughs> but for me it's how that people have need that Christ in the heart. Ah, they have to have Christ. Yeah, okay. They have to have Jesus. They have to have Christ in their hearts. Very good, Jenny. Very good. Aha, uh -huh, Mari. Do you have to wear glasses? <laughs> yes, I have to wear glasses. Ah, and where are your glasses tonight, Mari? <laughs> in my mom, mom house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um. Chiki, what are some things good teachers have to do? Uh huh. Good mm -hmm. teachers have to teach with heart. Excellent, with their heart. Or with, or uh, yes, or with love. Okay, very nice, very good. And Laurita, when do you have to go to the supermarket? Every, I uh, have to go every monthly <laughs> i don't know you have to go monthly yeah 
Okay, or every month. Very good, Laura. Excellent. Every Very month. nice. Yes, thank you. Very nice. All right, I'm going to stop sharing this for a second. I'm going to take attendance right now. All right, so we have here Ada Carolina Campos Vida de Ruano. Adita, okay. Adilio Hernandez. Thank you, Adita. Adilio Hernandez Blanco. Adelie del Carmen Cortez de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present, Miss. Very good. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. Very good. Um, Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Ercilia Damari Quintero Salvarado. Mi. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Thank you, Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Very good, thank you. Catherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Laura Noemi Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present, Miss. Jasmine Yamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Bielman. And Adilio Hernández Polanco, que acabo de ver que... Hi, Miss. Hi, Adilio. Ay, se tengo borrado. Oh, no. Yamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Ya lo quito. <laughs> no se preocupe, ya lo tengo aquí. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. Okay, so now I want us to go back to our books. Just give me a second here. Let me see. Um, okay. This is what we're going to do today. Just give me one second. I'm just going to tell you what. Wait, guys. Okay, very good. So we're going to go back here. Vamos a trabajar ahorita en el libro, lo que re, prácticamente lo que tenemos de clase acá. Vamos a irnos, please, on page 24. Page 24 of your books, okay? So here we have, I want you to work in this, page 24, exercise two. There is a reading. It says, read about Mr. Wilson, check the correct uh -huh. sentences and correct the wrong ones, okay? So, cuando estén en sus grupos, you're gonna read this uh -huh. y van a ir corrigiendo las que tienen que ser corregidas y las que no solo las deja que están perfectas. Terminamos esto y necesito que Hagamos este otro reading de la página, page 25. Esa la leímos ayer. Read this one. Y van contestando lo que tienen que llenar acá, que sería read the email and organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. ¿Ok? No las que van, no en orden, sino que en orden de, de importancia o de prioridad. ¿Ok? So that's what you have to do here. Vamos a, re, ajá, vamos a trabajar en esas dos lecturas. All right. Les doy un cierto tiempo, luego regresamos, revisamos ambas y ya luego nos pasamos a la página eh, 26 y 27. All right, guys. Miss, I'm sorry. Eh, lo primero que dijo no le oí porque se le, le oí entrecortada. Ah, ok, no se preocupe. Hay que hacer esta lectura, eh, Damaris, esta, en la página 24. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tienen que ir corrigiendo las oraciones que están malas en el caso que hayan malas. Si están bien, solo las deja así. All right? Okay. Thank you. I get it. Thank you. Adilio, ya lo voy a unir a un grupo, oye. Thank you, Miss. Thank you.
Ok, Adilio, ya, ya está. No sé si ya le salió la invitación. Ay, Bellita. <ríe> Bellita, ahorita están, los acabo de enviar a los grupos y la actividad no es difícil. Es en la página 24, vea. Hay que hacer página 24 y 25, ambas son lecturas. Entonces, los acabo de enviar, no se preocupe. Ahorita la mando a un grupo. Gracias. Vaya, Bellita, usted.
Por eso sería. Visit, en esa... the, yes, visit the, the two stores in Santa Tecla. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, the third thing. Y la fourth. <laughs> fourth. Um, Debe salir la lengua. Fourth. Hi, teacher. Fourth. Sí, hay que sacar la lengua. Sí, fourth. Y sí, saque la lengua, Laurita. <laughs> Que que sería, a I really need. Oh, espérame, espérame, que yo ya te cheque. Sí, He hecho una gran manchazón aquí. Yo también. And the fourth thing is. I contact really the first. You. Contact uh -huh. the first three potential customers in the list. Okay. From Mr. Sanchez. Mm -hmm. And um, we done. We finish, Miss. Finish, Miss. You finish everything, the two readings? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. All right. We're gonna give I'm gonna give you like three more minutes because there are some groups that are not finished. But okay. um, yeah, all right. So you, if you want, you may check um anything or just practice the reading or something and just give me three more minutes, okay? Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Too. You too. Thank you. Uish. El primero. Este sí está, está, está mero. <laughs> Interesante. <laughs> Bastante. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the. Ah, catch. pero ahí aclara, mire, mis. Que dice. Después de llamar a los clientes, dice que es muy importante enviar los dos uh -huh. últimos reportes de las ventas de mayo. Hacemos, de, le damos prioridad a ese. It's very important to send. Yo, yo, Porque decía, ahí aclara. Ahí aclara de que es muy importante enviar el. Ya lo encontró esa parte. Sí. It's very ah, pues, important to send the. Y, y es, es la única de, la, de las indicaciones que resalta eso. Y a la primera hora del día. Ok. It's very important. Eh, Ajá. Okay. Sería uno. Esta sería la primera. Send it to last. Yo diría, no sé qué opinan. Se ve que sí. What is the pronunciation? Latest. 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 Send it to latest sales report on May 26th. Entonces esa, ¿verdad? Sería send the report, la número uno. I don't know. <laughs> Yo digo que primero que tiene que hablarle a los clientes nuevos. The All the new clients. Y luego enviar los reportes. No, sí va. Llamar a los nuevos clientes. Los contactos potenciales, los tres. Luego, write a. Ajá, uh -huh. the new welcome letter from the new customers. Tres y cuatro, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. No. Hay cinco cosas que hacer, Tiche. <risa> ¿Cuáles son, María? A ver, cuénteme. Yo digo que primero, call the new clients from the last three weeks. Call the Luego, new clients, ajá. Send the catalog, catalog information. Ajá. Then send the two latest sales report in May. Solo que no necesariamente van en orden, ¿verdad, Mari? O sea, acuérdense que son eh, 
hay que poner las actividades por, por prioridad, no por orden. O sea, es orden de prioridad, ¿me entiendes? Yes. Para mí, para mí que quedaría en primer lugar porque lo resalta la, la oración, send the two latest, latest sales reports on May 26. Para mí que ese sería el primero. You have one day uh -huh. to do it, dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, sí. Uh -huh. Luego, sería... Call the new clients. Pero Tenemos si solamente dos días para hacerlo. Luego podría ser dos. Eh, visitar a, lo, a las, las tiendas en Santa Tecla, que también tenemos dos, quiero ver, dos días tenemos también para hacerlo. Uh -huh. Y por último tendríamos que contactar a los primeros tres clientes potenciales Contact. que tenemos tres, quiero ver, tres días para hacerlo. Ok. Eso está bien. I think it sounds better. Now, acuérdense, la pronunciación es latest y de la otra es catalog. Catalog. ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál, cuál? ¿A dónde está la palabra? Ah, catalog, catálogo. Uh -huh. catálogo. catálogo. Ah, ya lo oí. Yeah. Entonces, el primero es. To send. The two send, 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 uh -huh. send the report, the two latest sales reports. No, pero de lo de lo de lo de Clients. El tercero sería de visit. Visit. Ajá. Visit the two star stores. In Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. En el last y one, por contact. último, el de contact. llamar ajá, y contactar a los primeros. Contact clients. The first three clients. The three potential customers. Customers. O hey, potencial, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Potential. 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 Thank you, Miss. Yes, very well. Come You're very well. Potential. Potential. Now I can state the frequency. All right, so you guys finished? Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Let's go there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I know Beita and Chiki and Laura finished, as well as Mari and Adilio and Ede. What about the rest of you guys? Were you able to finish everything? Yes? Yeah? Excellent. Thank you, Chris. Very good. Thank you, Laurita. All right, Frank, were you able to finish? I know you were working with Roxana. I creo que se salió un ratito, ¿verdad, Frank? 
Sí, no, pero es que tuvimos problemas por lo del libro, porque yo no lo tengo y ella no lo tiene tampoco. Entonces lo estuvimos, lo estuvimos pidiendo, pero no lo... Ajá, solo hicimos la, la parte de leer. Ah, ok. A ver, no, no se preocupe. De, la otra sí no la hicimos. Uh -huh. Ok, no, tranquilo. Just give me a second, guys, please. All right, very good. Let's check it here then. Let's go back to the book. All right, so we had these two readings. We have this one about Mr. Wilson. All right, let's see. Um, Bea, can you please read it? Así como está, Beita. Can you just read this, please, the, the reading, and then we're going to do the exercise. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential potential employees. Employees. Yes. Employees, very good. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have a event. Events. Event. Events. Event. Yes. E con E. e. Events, yes. We always have event. We have to attend a conference on July 20, 21st. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Mm -hmm. I always visit. Excellent. Very good, Bea. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Um, number one, it says his name is John Wilkins. Is that correct, guys? Anybody? No. no. No? What is his name? Wilson. 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 Yeah, John his Wilson. name is John Wilson. Very good. Number two. The, um, he writes reports every day? No. 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 Okay, so no. how did you change it? He checks. Check. He checks what? Emails. 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 All right. For so the company. Emails. emails for the company. All right. Very good. Number three, he never answers the phone and talk to customers. No. 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 Oh, he always. Ah. Always. Always, always answers the phone. Very good. And talks to customers. Very good. Number four. He often attends meetings in the morning. Oh, oh. yes. No? Mm, no. Yes, in the morning, but not so often in the afternoon. So he often or he always? He no. always. 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 He always. He always, right? Because he says, I always. attend meetings in the morning. All right. Okay. So maybe he always attends meetings in the morning. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. He often. He often. He often. All right. Very good. He often attends meetings in the afternoon. What about number six? He usually has events in his company. He always. He always. He always. Has he always. Events. He always has events mm -hmm. in his company. Very company. good. He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Perfect. He have no. No. He have two. He, has, he have to go to he has July to work. 22nd. Uh -huh. He um, has yeah. to attend. Attend. Okay, so he has to attend a conference when? Mm -hmm. And you, and you. On July 20... In July 20... Uh, 21st? 22nd. 22nd. 21st. Wait, wait, wait. He has to go to a conference? You said no. All right? I mean, he no. has to attend. Que es un sinónimo de go. All right? So he has to attend a conference when? On July 22nd or July 21st? On July 21st. July 21st. On July 21st. Yes. All right. So but but he had he had a a meeting on July 22nd. Right. About, yes. about he has the a conference. meeting. He has a meeting yeah. about the conference. Uh huh. So he's gonna report about the conference, but he has to go to the conference on the 21st. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you. 
All right, very good. Let's see here. Then we moved to this one here. Voluntario, voluntaria para leer the, the reading, please. Only one. Thank you. Me? All right, go ahead. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new client for the last three weeks and give them to the catalog, catalog, catalog. catalog information for you. You have today to do it one hour each day. It's very important to send that to Latest, 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 latest sales report on May 26th and the write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have today to do it two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. This Rewards. Daniel regards. Ruiz. Best regards. Daniel Ruiz. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. A ver, solo rapidito aquí. Revisen si pronunciación que queremos revisar. Potential. Eh, Adilio la preguntaba. Potential customers. ¿Verdad, Adilio? Yes, yes. All right. Very good. No sé si, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if there's another one that you want to go over. Catalog. Catalog. catalog is catalog. 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 Yes, very good. Cara. 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 Uh -huh. La que está abajo de, de, de catalog. Latest. 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 Thank you. Yep. Uh, y a la par de latest está sales. All right. Latest sales report. All right. Sales. All right. Another one. Sales. Sales. ¿Qué significa? Venta. Regards. Venta. Reporte de venta. Okay. Sales. Thank you. Regards. Regards. Como saludos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Es regards. It's regards. All right, anything else? Estamos bien con lo demás? Customer. Customers, así es, Dilio. Perfecto, customers. Okay. Very good. Okay, entonces, acuérdense que aquí teníamos que arreglar las actividades por orden de importancia o de prioridad. All right, so, vamos a ver. Well, what is the first activity that Guadalupe has to do? Call, call the new clients from the last three weeks uh, and give them the catalog information for June. Okay, so call the, the new clients for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. That is yes. number one? Yes, I think. Okay, I have different. Uh huh. What's your mm -hmm. idea? I mean, then I mean. the two latest sales reports on May 26th uh, and write a new welcome letter for the new customers. Customers. I different. Customers. Okay, a ver, Maria Jose, ¿qué tiene usted? Mm, no sé si está bien, pero mm, de lo primero, the first. Is is great a new no como dar la bienvenida sería like give the welcome an, ajá a new the welcome letter for the new customer no sí. solo así solo así a y ver okay a ver no se preocupe como dar dar la bienvenida a los nuevos clientes a, a los nuevos clientes a ver Roxana mm -hmm. qué tiene usted eh, 
in the in the right a new welcome letter for the new customer. You okay. have this, one day to eat for this, this. horas. Uh, uh, for hours, hours, right? Okay. Uh -huh. A ver, entonces, ¿cuál de todas esas actividades es? ¿Cuál es la primera que ella tiene que, en la que ella tiene que trabajar? Three potential customer in the lines from Mr. Sanchez. Pero she has three days to do it. O sea que tiene más tiempo, entonces no es prioridad. La que yes. tiene one day. One, yes. day, one day to ¿Qué eat. sería cuál? The welcome letter, ¿verdad? La que She has sent uh -huh. Y la que dijo Roxana well, también. Y creo que también yes. María José. Es uh -huh. yes. very, yes. hasta él dice, it's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26 and, the right, and then, ahí le falta la N a eso. And then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it. Esa sería the first activity. All right, very good. Okay, nice. What about the second activity? Call In the new case, client. I... Uh, call the new client. Call. Call the, the new, new client. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene? Just two days. Two days. Two days and yeah. one hour, right? Okay. One hour each day. Each day. Each day. Okay, very yes. good. So, what about activity or the third activity? Visit the two visit stores the in Santa Tecla. Visit, no, visit the, the two stores in Santa Tecla, porque igual tiene dos días, two days to do it, and two hours. En la otra tenía también dos días, pero yeah. one hour. One hour. Yes. All right, very good. What about the fourth activity? Contact the first three potential customers. Excellent. All right. Yes. Porque tiene más tiempo. You have three days to do it. All right. Yes. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Esto que está aquí lo leímos ayer, creo. Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. No, we didn't. Vi, la, vi esta palabra y no recuerdo haberla leído ayer. A ver, tenemos Anne, John and Anne. All right. So it says, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. All right. A ver, Mari, you're John. And Charlie, you are Anne. Okay. Okay. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule. Two meetings for to, two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, that sounds interesting. Very good. Thank you, Charlie. Very nice. Maria Jose, you're John. All right. And Diana. I want you to be Anne. Después se prepara Adilio and Bea. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to rescue to meeting for tomorrow they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import information to some customers. That sounds inter interesting. Very good. That sounds interesting. Very good. Okay. Uh, creo que era antes, uh -huh. sí, no, antes, solo en la segundo párrafo de Jones, está re. Re, re, reschedule. 
free excursion. Gracias. Excellent. Very good, Adilio. Nice. Thank you. Boy. Um, in the summer day, you need to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. A mí me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Rita. Okay. Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to rest current. Reschedule. To... Reschedule. <laughs> Reschedule. Ya se me va a quedar. Yo Reschedule sé, yo sé, no to, to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that is too bad. Yes. Have it to probably import information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Excellent. Va bien? Yes, that <laughs> interesting. <sounds> interesting. <laughs> yes, very good. Entonces aquí vemos que están igual usando el need to, el have to, depende del contexto, depende qué necesito hacer y qué debo hacer o qué tengo que hacer. Eso va a depender si usted va a usar need to or have to. All right, luego vemos la pronunciación reschedule. All right, y tenemos provide, uh, important, and we have interesting. Okay, la expresión that's too bad. Voy, Beida. La expresión that's too bad es como un, uh, qué mal, ¿verdad? Lo siento, that's too bad. Qué mala onda. I'm sorry, that's too bad. Ajá, vea. Y en el caso de that sounds. Sí. Sounds es suena. Suena, exacto. Suena interesante. Suena. Uh -huh. suena, sounds, ok. Sounds interesting. Y, uh -huh. eh, for example, if I said, I, you, no, perdón. Si quiero decir tú, ustedes necesitan una tijera, oh, tengo que decir, you need, you need to scissor. No, si usted va a decir necesitan oh, you una have tijera. To need. Eh, ¿huh? Si usted solo dice, necesita una tijera, usted dice, you need a pair of scissors or scissors. You need scissors. Si necesita, si usted need... dice, scissors, yes. nada más las tijeras. Solamente, you si, need scissors. Si usted le dice, usted tiene que tener tijeras, entonces sí, you have to have scissors. Or you have to have a pair of scissors. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Gracias. Yes, very good. Acuérdese que igual, ¿verdad? El need to es obligación. Y necesitamos un verbo, cualquier verbo que sea. Y luego si solo dice I need, usted necesita que un teléfono, una computadora, una tijera, un vaso, no sé, tiempo. Entonces decimos I need time. Ya no pongo el to, ¿verdad? El to solo va con otro, acompañado de otro verbo. El have to. You have to have, I don't know, uh, a pencil. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you. Ok, now here, esto es lo mismo que está, hemos estado viendo, how to use have to, need to. It says verbs to express obligations or needs. All right, so we have the verbs have to, that expresses an obligation, I need to, that expresses an obligation too. So you say, I have to prepare a document for my boss or I need to prepare a document for my boss. Recuerde que usted va a usar ya sea need to o have to, dependiendo del contexto, dependiendo si lo tiene que hacer o necesita hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí usted va a decidir cuál ocupa, si tiene que o necesita hacer, ¿all right? A ver, vamos a ir con esto, con esto vamos a ir cerrando, para eso hacerlo ya mañana. Y dice aquí, write about something you have to le voy a cambiar el or por and, all right? So write about something you have to and need to do these days, all right? Entonces, ahorita en lo que queda de clase, necesito que piense en una, en, no sé, dos, vamos a pensar en dos con have to, ya sea afirmativa, no, tiene que ser afirmativa ambas por el tipo de ejercicio. Dos con have to, obviamente afirmativas, y dos con need to. All right, ahora usted va a poner, por ejemplo, voy a poner yo, I have to work or I have to create the platform. All right, when, tomorrow, 
what time at 10 in the morning where in my house all right entonces la actividad la voy a escribir aquí la actividad solo la va a poner entonces la va a poner no sé si lo hace en su cuaderno es más fácil pero usted va a poner por ejemplo ay, yo, este es lo mío i have to uh, create the new um, platform all right so that's my activity all right when do i have to do this entonces aquí escribo aquí abajo uh, friday whoops friday what time all right you puedo decir at 10 oops at 10 where a donde voy a trabajar yo la plataforma donde la voy a crear ah, voy a trabajar desde mi casa so i'm gonna be where at home all right entonces basado en lo que escribí perdón basado en mi actividad que tengo que realizar puse el día la hora y el lugar si yo vengo y digo ah tengo que no sé tengo que ir al súper this is when saturday what time in the afternoon where at super selectos okay yes y mañana vamos a entrar haciendo el repaso con esto de acá entonces les dejo un ratito unos tres cuatro minutos acuérdense que dos, son dos con have to dos con need to y lo mismo la, el mismo tipo de, de, de llenado
reading me is. All right, very good. Charlie, you said you're ready? Yeah? All right, okay, very good. So, no sé si ya lograron terminar los demás, o es en eso están terminando. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. With this activity, we're going to finish this class tonight. And then tomorrow when we come, all right, y cuando hagamos el repaso, de hecho mañana es viernes y nos toca repaso eh, general, pero igual vamos a hacer el repaso con esto. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Ustedes se van a ir a sus grupos y le, yo voy a estar, por ejemplo, yo le voy a decir lo mismo, ¿verdad? I have to create the, at the new platform. Charlie, en el caso que estuviera trabajando con él, me dijera, Jessica, when do you have to create the new platform? Entonces, él me tiene que poner atención de, la, de mi actividad que debo realizar. Yo le voy a decir, ah, Charlie, I have to create the new platform on Friday. And then he's going to say, at what time, Jessica? Ah, at 10 o'clock. Where do you have to create the platform? I have to create the platform at home. Y así vamos a ir con las, las dos de have to. Y las dos de need to. La idea es practice your listening, all right? Entonces, su comprehension. ¿Qué me está diciendo el, mi compañero o compañera que yo tengo que retener esa información? Y luego preguntándole when, what time, and where. All right? So, con eso vamos a iniciar mañana. Y con esto, obviamente, estamos cerrando hoy. All right? So, I'm going to stop sharing right now. Voy a tomar la asistencia final. Very good. Y Frank, mañana cerramos antes de vacaciones. Very good. Ada Carolina Campos, viuda de Juano. Present, Miss. Adilio Hernández Polanco. Present. Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present, Miss. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Ercilia Damari Quintero Alvarado. Present. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Katherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Laura Noemi Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present. Miss. Thank you, Roxana. Jasmine Yamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Pielman. Present. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Please work on your platform. Siga avanzando. Acuérdese que hay que hacer el examen. Así es que les invito a que lo terminen ahora para que queden libre en vacación. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Solo se me queda Ana Mario un ratito. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, Chris. Bye, Bye Michelle. You. Bye, Adita. Thank you, Adilio. Same to you. See you Friday. Teacher. Bye, teacher. See you Friday. Bye, Laurita. Ajá, Miss Damari, ¿cómo está? <laughs> Tiene su micrófono apagadito, Damari. Hi, Miss. Hi. All right. Uh, okay, very good. Ajá, uh -huh, Mari. A ver, hay algo en que necesite ayuda, re ayuda, refuerzo, or anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> so I learning for each day. Okay. When when you when you learning, I I pay attention. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's very good, Tamari. Yes, that's very good. Okay. 
Now, do you have any questions for any of the topics that we have studied, Damari? Y es que a veces lo que me pasa es que tengo una pregunta y de ahí se me olvida. Porque esta vez, sí, es cierto, esta vez tuve problemas en el examen y en dos voy teniendo problemas. No había Ajá. tenido problemas. Eh, es que tenía dudas en esas dos preguntas, pero no me acuerdo. A no ser que se la comparta aquí cuál era, pero sí. eh, creo que este... Eh, o sea, como... Como ahí le sale mal a uno, entonces uno vuelve a hacer, la verdad. Allá entendí, pero no sabía porque decía I am usually. Y entonces yo no me acordaba que se puede usar el verbo to be. Entonces, vamos a ver. En esta creo que fue mis, en la seis. Espérame. La está viendo, mis. Sí, 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 la veo, sí. Quiero ver en cuál tuve problemas. Eh, ay, no es que hasta se me olvidó mis. Ah. I'm always, puedo decir I'm always. Ah, es que era ay, ay, ¿verdad? Sí. No me acuerdo ya en cuál fue que me equivoqué, fíjese. Ok. Pero ahí mismo la regla. Sorry. No, no, no se preocupe. Acuérdese, eh, Damari, que cuando tenemos el verbo be, después del verbo be va a ir el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Verdad? Ustedes se pero como en algunas ocasiones solo decíamos, I usually, I sometimes, I Ajá, Pero eso I es often... cuando, cuando tenemos un verbo de acción. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Siempre de... Ah, y cuando, y cuando digo I am usually, no voy a decir un verbo de acción. No. I am usually... I, I am usually happy, tired, angry, hungry, ah. busy. Son adjetivos. Entonces, después de, de cuando uso el verbo to be, va un adjetivo. Des, o sea, cuando usamos las, los adverbios de frecuencia, va el verbo to be, adverbio de frecuencia y un adjetivo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, Miss. I got it. Yes, very good. Mientras que nosotros, eh, Damaris, usted dice, I always pay attention, por ejemplo. No está usando el verbo to be, por lo tanto, está usando un verbo de acción, pay. ¿Verdad? Ajá. I always pay attention. Esa va a ser mi clave. Esa va a ser como mi clave. Si veo un verbo de acción, es que no voy a llevar, no voy a llevar el verbo to be, ¿verdad? No, exacto. O viceversa, ¿verdad? Si usted ve un verbo to be, usted sabe que lo que viene después no puede ser un verbo de acción. Ok, Miss, y con lo que estamos viendo ahorita, los science expression, time expression, es, no, no, time expression es otra cosa. Eh, los <ríe> expression es once a week y todos esos, ajá. Ajá, no, 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 no en eso. Eh, ahorita estamos viendo have to y need to. Sí. Entonces, ¿habrá una clave que yo no me confunda o, o es igual que español? O sea, yo tengo que hacer, yo necesito. Sí. Ahí eh, yo voy a ver, el, depende del contexto. Así como es. Que en ese momento, o Exacto. sea, a veces, a veces pongo I have to por, y puede hacer que sea I need to. Sí, eh, lo que pasa es que, bueno, si estamos pensando, en, por ejemplo, en el examen, ahí tendría que decirle que tiene que usar. Pero en su día a día, Damari, va a depender de que si usted tiene que hacer algo o necesita hacer algo. Entonces, ahí usted va a decir, por ejemplo, usted me dice, ay, no, teacher, fíjese que este fin de semana tengo que entregar una tarea. ¿Verdad? Tengo que hacerlo. Porque es una Pero no se oye no soy mal si digo, necesito entregar una tarea. No, no, porque si es, o sea, por, por ejemplo, ay. yo le digo, hey, Damari, vámonos a tomar un café. Y usted me dice, no, teacher, es que necesito entregar una tarea ahora. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es una necesidad que casi que es obligación, <risa> pero es, es, usted, es algo que necesita hacer para poder pasar el curso, ¿verdad? Como que son parecidas, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque tampoco se oye mal que yo le diga, yo tengo que entregar, yo necesito sí, no. entregar. Ajá, entonces por eso le digo, ya va a depender más de usted, si usted lo considera una obligación más que una necessity, entonces usted va a decir, I have to. Ok, Miss. Entonces, por ahí vamos. Va a depender del el significado o el, la, la intención que usted le quiera dar a, a lo que está diciendo. Uh -huh. I got it. Very good, Tamari. Very nice. 
All right, la dejo descansar, la veo mañana. No sé si tiene algo más, Damari. No, in this moment, only that. All right, very good, Damari. Excellent, <laughs> very good. All right. Thank so you, you Thank you. Good night. Good night, Miss. Bye. Bye-bye.